In the Crow tradition, to become a war chief, one must complete four tasks. Touch a living enemy without killing them, steal an enemy's weapon, successfully lead a war party, and steal an enemy's horse. Here's the story of the man who last accomplished these feats, Joe Medicine Crow, the last war chief. Born in 1913 on the Crow Indian Reservation in Montana, Joe was raised in a traditional family steeped in the values of his ancestors. From a young age, Joe was immersed in the rich oral traditions and warrior culture of the Crow people. He listened intently to the stories of his elders, learning the history of his tribe and the lessons of bravery, honor, and respect for the land. Inspired by the tales of his ancestors, Joe dreamed of following in their footsteps and upholding the proud legacy of the Crow warriors. As a young man, Joe witnessed the challenges facing his people as they grappled with the impacts of colonization and forced assimilation. He dedicated himself to preserving the stories, songs, and ceremonies passed down through generations. In 1943, as World War II engulfed the world, Joe Medicine Crow answered a call to serve his country. During his service in Europe, Joe served as a scout with the 103rd Infantry Division, where he displayed loyalty, exceptional bravery, and leadership under fire. Whenever he went into battle, he wore his war paint, two red stripes on his arms, and a sacred yellow painted eagle feather beneath his helmet. While serving as a US Army scout during World War II, while in a small French town, Joe turned a corner and had a shock encounter with a German soldier. Joe quickly disarmed the man, but instead of shooting him, he dropped his own weapon and engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Joe eventually overpowered the individual and was choking him. As the German was gasping for air, he let out a barely audible, Mama, Mama. Joe, upon hearing this, released the German and took him prisoner. He sat down with his new prisoner and shared a cigarette with him. This fulfilled two of their requirements, touching an enemy without killing him and stealing his weapon. Joe then completed another task while serving on the Siegfried Line. Almost 400 miles long, the Siegfried Line was a series of fortifications along Germany's western border. It consisted of bunkers, tank traps, walls, pillboxes and tunnels. Joe was commanded with leading seven men across the Rhine into German territory and blow up German fortifications using dynamite. Joe and his band of seven soldiers were able to complete the task without taking a single casualty, thus fulfilling the requirement of leading a successful war party. He won a bronze star for this mission and is also potentially the first American soldier to enter Nazi Germany. During another mission, Joe found himself leading a scouting party through enemy territory. As they approached the farm under the cover of darkness, Crow spotted about 50 horses stabled there. Peering through his binoculars, he discerned that these horses belonged to SS officers. Under the cloak of night, he steadily navigated past the guards. With swift and silent movements, he fashioned a makeshift rope bridle and deftly secured it to the finest horse among them. Then Crow spurred the horse into action, leading the stampede of 50 horses out of the barn and into the night. As they thundered away, he let out a fierce war cry as he completed his fourth and final requirement to become a war chief, steal an enemy's horse. After the war, Joe returned home to the Crow Reservation, where he dedicated himself to preserving and promoting the culture and heritage of his tribe. He served as a historian, a storyteller, sharing the stories of his people with audiences around the world and inspiring future generations to embrace their heritage with pride. Throughout his life, Joe Medicine Crow remained a steadfast advocate for Native American rights and sovereignty, working tirelessly to ensure that the voices and perspectives of Indigenous peoples were heard and respected. In 2009, Joe was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor, in recognition of his lifelong dedication to preserving Native American culture and his extraordinary contributions to the country. Joe Medicine Crow passed away on April 3, 2016 at the age of 102, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and uplift people of all backgrounds. His life serves as a testament to the enduring strength, resilience, and indomitable spirit of the Native American people, a legacy that will live on for generations to come. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Odd Historian. This is a new channel, so please let me know what you liked and what I could improve. And if you want to help this channel grow, please hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.